Hello and welcome. My name is Sativ, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the add-ons that I'm currently using in Warlords of Draenor. This video is done from a PvP perspective, so all of these add-ons are designed to improve your awareness in PvP situations and help improve the basic overall interface's layout. So let's go ahead and take a moment to examine my add-on list so you guys can see all the add-ons that I'm using. Then we'll go ahead and go through the list and talk about how they're affecting the interface. So first up is Trophy GCD. What this does is it shows my skill usage on the bottom here next to my action bar. I had this request from a viewer to install this add-on and check it out. And once I did, I noticed that it would be very informational for you guys. And as well as helpful for me. So when I'm targeting a player, I can see which skills they're using directly. You know, I can see exactly what they're doing. It's a very interesting idea for an add-on. And I'm really happy that one of the viewers suggested it to me. So next up is Power Interface. What Power Interface does is allow you to move your UI around in different ways, as well as move your arena frames down here. And another thing that it does is it's a built-in trinket and diminishing return tracker. It changes the icons to class colors and changes the bar here to the class color. And if you hit slash PUI, you can set up your add-on exactly how I have it, just by pressing this little button right here. Here's an example of, of the diminishing returns and the trinkets. And if there's a thing that you don't like about the add-on, you can just turn it off. There's little buttons for each different aspect of the add-on. Wow, this is the longest load ever. Considering. I'm on an SSD. So what you're seeing here is lose control. As you can see when I uh, put a stun on this paladin, it showed the duration of the stun effect. I don't know if that guy could bubble, I actually kicked him. But yeah, here's another prime example of lose control. And Trufy GCD doing its work up there, showing that the warrior trinketed. And down here it shows the diminishing return and the fact that he did trinket on my uh, power interface. Now another add-on that you'll see here is Omni CC, which is tracking the duration of these stuns here and the duration of my cooldowns. And that's basically all the add-ons that I'm using. And yeah, it's pretty simple to set up too. Most of these add-ons that I'm using are set up out of the box with the exception of Trophy GCD. Now with Trophy GCD, you're gonna see that there are a few things that aren't right like up here for windwalker monks it will be tracking their passive and it will spam their passive it'll just spam it up there like every second so you know you need to go into trophy gcd and you need to blacklist certain skills that you don't want to see and i'll show you guys exactly how to do that real quick right now if this loading screen ever finishes because these are really harsh in my mellow here I want to get this uh, video finished up for you guys because we're, wrap we're wrapping things up. So in Trophy GCD, there's a little blacklist thing here. And for an example will be Wind Walk. It's a spell that you want to blacklist. That's the name of the monk one that uh, gets spammed. There's other ones that you can blacklist, like you see Auto Shot and Auto Attack and whatever this is. But, you know, if you ever see when you're targeting something a certain ability being spammed like crazy, you can mouse over it and it'll tell you the tooltip and you can just block it out by name. Let's talk a little bit more about Trophy GCD for a second. I went ahead and reset the interface so that you guys can see what it looks like when you log in with Trophy GCD. So as you can see, there is just a lot of things to track with Trophy GCD. You can track your focus, you can track your target, and you can track your player actions. So what I do with Trophy GCD is I disable my party 1, 2, 3, 4, the arena 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I personally don't use focus, but I was thinking on setting up my focus to go like this, you know? I feel like it's kind of a funky idea. And for my target, I make it go to the right. Here, let's see if I can just target him so I can get the positioning right on all these. Here, let's, let's wait till that's out of the way. I think it's conflicting. There we go. And of course down here is my player. And I try to center it on these bars just so it kind of looks nice. We're missing an icon here so it's kind of off center but 
yeah so that was basically all it took to set up Trufy GCD you know you can change the direction here you can pick which ones are active here and you know once you're done click save and hide the anchors and there you have it now you're rolling an in information as to which global cooldowns your enemy is using which I kinda feel is really cheating cuz how the hell are you supposed to know that somebody casted mortal strike instead of execute you know other than the sound effect as for power interface it's extremely simple to set it up how I have it set up you literally just click this button and it sets up your, your UI the way that I have it but you know if you want to customize it your own way you, know, you want to move your target somewhere else you know, you're more comfortable with it being over here on the other side you know that's totally your business you, know, you put your interface where you want I don't encourage people to use mine just because I do it I want them to have an easy way to set it up similar to mine you know put this here have these here this that there and then be able to work with it how they want to set it up you know like if you wanted to put your target here you could put it up here all you have to do is copy the vertical offset and then switch your horizontal offset watch you there we go now it's across like that see it's very simple to set up and if I just want to fix it back to mine I just go whoop Bing, done. So that's power interface. That's probably the easiest add-on to set up out of the bunch. And the rest honestly don't need to be set up. Like lose control. The only thing you really need to do for Omni CC is to change the tenth of a duration. If it's under a second, show tenth of a duration. Because, you know, when you stun, you want to be able to seamlessly stun out. Right? So you wanna you wanna have an easy way to tell that extra tenth of a second. So there you have it. That's ba the basics of my add-ons, guys. I'm not using nearly as many as I was in the past, simply because, you know, I've gotten used to playing with less add-ons. Not that playing with less add-ons is better or worse. It's important to get a clean interface that shows what you want to see and the information that you need to see in PvP. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, I want you all to stay sneaky, my friends. And now a word from our sponsors. Good Gaming is helping support the YouTube channel alongside you guys, you know, all of you watching these videos and giving them a thumbs up for doing your part. Good Gaming, an e-learning and social networking platform built exclusively for gamers and designed to turn you into an eSports champion. We give you the tools, resources, and support to game better. Instructional videos and e-learning guides give you access to powerful strategies and the secrets of the pros so you can dominate your opponents. Our exclusive mercenary system gives you access to personalized support for offer your own services to the highest bidder and compete in exclusive Good Gaming online tournaments to win cash and prizes. What are you waiting for? Become a Good Gaming member today. Good Gaming, revolutionize your game.